Greetings from downtown Seattle, just outside of Benaroya Hall and the exclusive artist entrance. They have a very special guest in town this weekend. She is a bona fide trailblazer. In fact, she's the first woman to serve as the head of a major orchestra in all of the United States, in South America, in Austria, and in Britain. The idea that you can't do something simply because of your gender or your race or your height or your weight is absurd. Everyone is capable of anything they put their minds to. I think I was nine years old. I went to my violin teacher and I was like, you know, I saw this amazing conductor and I, I'm going to be the conductor. And she said, and girls can't do that. You are prominently featured in a documentary, The Conductor, chronicling your trailblazing journey. From a very young age, you ran into no, 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 you can't be a conductor. I think one of the struggles, especially when you're when you're among the first in, in a field, is that people have these preconceptions and they're always saying, no, no, that's not possible, you can't do that. And fortunately, we live in a time, I think, now where people are seeing that everyone can do everything. Obviously, it is easy to be discouraged when you're young, but you found just the right friend at the right time. When I was nine years old, my dad took me to a concert and the conductor was having so much fun that I decided in that moment I had to be the conductor. And it, what was magical was that the guy jumping around on the podium was Leonard Bernstein, and he became my teacher later. Inspiring and empowering the next generation is a big part of what you do these days as a mentor. I started a fellowship 20 years ago now called the Taki Alsop Conducting Fellowship. We have so many talented women in this fellowship globally. I mean, there are a lot of conductors along the way that said you can't do that, and a lot of them have had to apologize over the years, and uh, you know, that, that's gracious of them as well. But it was really a dream come true, and it's just a really fun profession. I'm, I'm thrilled.